blade and quill. Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is episode 7 of a series on brushes for beginners. This final episode is an extension of episode 6. In order to keep today's tutorial simple and short, I will not repeat what I already taught you last week. So for those of you who missed episode 6, no worries. For your convenience, I added a link to the video in the corner of your screen. Last week, I showed you how to create a customized stamp brush. This week, I would like to show you another way to create a stamp brush. This tutorial was made possible thanks to the amazing tips of Voron We13 was kind enough to share with us in the comments area of last week's video. Last week uh, we had to paint our leaves uh, in black to create our stamp brush uh, but here we can start right away by painting leaves in colors and even add uh, highlights, uh, shadows and uh, any other type uh, of textures if we want. This is a game changer. All of this will be preserved by clicking both uh, create mask from color and uh, preserve alpha channel modes. To have a true comparison from last week's tutorial, I saved this stamp brush with an animated style and a selection set to random. In the second part of this tutorial, by the way, we will create together a regular stamp, so stay tuned. Finally, when editing the brush preset, uh, Voron W13 instructed us to select the lightness map in the brush mode selection. Now feel free to tweak your brush a little further for your needs uh, as I taught you last week. For this test, uh, for instance, I modified the tip of my brush uh, within the brush size, a mirror and the rotation modes. So let's paint uh, and uh, see how amazing this brush is compared to the one we created in the previous uh, tutorials episode. I mean, look at that, there is no contest. This brush is a winner in my book, I love it. As you can see, you can create a beautiful bush of leaves using only one brush. Just change the size of the brush and play with different colors. And voila. Okay, what about we test the same tricks and uh, create a new stamp brush? As you can see here, I have a sphere and I separated uh, all the layers. I have a layer for uh, the sphere itself, for the shadow and uh, for the highlights. I grouped all of the elements and uh, named the group sphere. To create a stamp, let's first make a copy of a group. Now let's turn off the original group and maybe lock it for safer measures. Back to the copied group, we are going to merge it. Now turn off the background layer. Go to the Edit Brush Settings. Click on the Brush Tip. Click on the predefined and finally click on the add stamp. In this window we are going to do a few things, so let's rename the stamp brush first. Tick the box create mask from color. Make sure the box preserve alpha channel is also ticked. In the brush style area, select the style of your stamp to be a regular and click OK. Turn the background layer back on. Create a new layer. Using the up arrow, move your new layer at the very top. Test the stamp. Uh, 
as you can see uh, if you wanted to create uh, some sort of a tube effect uh, this uh, doesn't really work but we can fix that first we are going to clear the layer by hitting the delete button on our keyboard go back to the edit brush settings the brush I have selected uh, to be used as a template is the fill circle in the brush mode, uh, select the lightness map mode. Now test your stamp again. You have now created a stamp brush that acts like an image hose. Colors, highlights and shadows have been preserved. You can change the color of your stamp anytime. Don't forget to use a scratch pad in your edit brush setting uh, window uh, to test different spacing values. So we are ready to save the brush preset, so click on save brush preset. Rename the brush. Upload an icon and look for the stamp icon. Don't forget to uh, customize your stamp. Maybe add a, a heart, why not? And maybe you can uh, paint uh, a little tube underneath. And click save. Congratulations, you have now a new custom brush. And we are done with this series on brushes for beginners. I will see you next Monday with a brand new tutorial. Until then, have a great week creating art.